Hey friends, it's Liz. I am very excited to announce that I have finally got a real camera, which I'm actually filming on right now. Very exciting, very happy. Um, we're gonna see how the footage turns out. I'm kind of new to the whole camera thing, but I'm hoping it will turn out good for you guys. Tonight, I have to bake cookies for a work bake exchange that's happening tomorrow. I plan on making these giant molasses cookies that I have had a recipe for for a couple years. So yeah, we're going to go downstairs and make some cookies tonight. Let's go bake. Before we go downstairs, just wanted to show off the new camera. The tripod is black because I've had it for a while, so it's not matching, but yeah, I ended up getting the white Sony ZV-1. So here's this close little girl. Isn't she cute? I'm so excited. I got all my ingredients laid out in the recipe. First we have to put the butter and the sugar together. This butter is like liquid. and molasses. And then in this bowl, I have ginger, baking soda, cinnamon, cloves, and salt. Just mix that together. And now we just add these two bowls together. Just do a little bit at a time. going to make little balls and then roll them in some sugar and then they go on the baking sheets and in the oven. Sure, Charlie Brown, I can tell you what Christmas is all about. Lights, please. minutes and we're gonna let them bake. For behold, I bring you tidings of great joy. My mom bought me this cute Christmas snowflake container to put all the cookies in to bring and then at the bake exchange we're all getting two of everything everyone made so then I'll be able to put all my new goodies in here and take it home.
but this is what they're looking like straight out of the oven. Gotta let them chill for a bit and we might have to taste test one. So the cookies are cooling, but we did break one, so we're gonna use it as our taste tester and see how they came out. I think they taste pretty good. All of the cookies are done, all laid out. And so now I'm just gonna pack them up in the little container. And I wrote all the ingredients in it so that people know before they eat it, just in case. back up in my room now I did the dishes and I packed up some extra cookies I had that I don't need to bring tomorrow for work so that means my family gets to eat some and yeah oh I also let me get it I took one cookie upstairs for myself because I think I deserve it so yeah these are my molasses cookies I found the recipe on Pinterest like years ago now maybe you guys will want to try out the recipe you can use normal butter, no normal flour. That's what I usually do, but this time I had to do something a little different, but I think they'll still come out good both ways. They got me. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me bake. Let me know if you have any recipes that you think I should try out. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.